talk about Pettis, bro. Jason wanted to talk about Pettis, bro. Real quick, now, now. I do. So, um, so I mean, honestly, I don't know. Again, you know when you said before you were like, I, I'm saying this based on nothing. So, like, like I really felt like Pettis was going to have a better camp. Don't ask mm-hmm. me why, you know, mm-hmm. but this feels like his make or break year, right? Um, like I said, I've, I've, you know, on Twitter, I've, I've shown my love for Pettis because I do think he's a great route runner. He just runs them a little funky. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Just his timing is a little weird. He's just a lot of arms and legs and it looks, you know, it looks a little yeah. weird. Running them. But, um, I was happy to hear, you know, that you reported and a lot of other people were reporting that, that he's, that he's having good days. He's still having bad days, right? Like you would say that he's kind of regressing in and out, you know, sometimes. Yeah. Um, but what I was interested to to hear was that he was attempting to get balls over the middle. And like, that's, I think that's more a mindset than it is. It's, it's will over skill. We yeah. know the kid has it and it's right here, you know? And I think that when he unlocks that portion of his game, then the sky's the limit when it comes to that. So I, I um, totally agree that that day, that day was Tuesday. He uh-huh. was, he was like one of the best players on the field on Tuesday. He was everywhere. Every single thing that I said was a, a weakness of his, he was doing catching yeah. passes over the middle, attacking them with his hands. I mean, right. he was playing aggressive and fearless. Um, then a couple of yesterday, he had a tougher day, but he was mostly playing with Bethard. So give him a break. And then today he had fewer opportunities. I mean, his, his rep on the, on the fade in the end zone was pretty weak, but uh, that's kind of him. He, he's just not a contested catch guy. Although he did, I mean, he's not going to go up and get it from what I've seen, but he's got five more days. He hasn't dropped a pass yet. I think he, I think he's doing better, but he's not competing for a starting job. He's not on that level yet. And I think that what I was, what I was really intrigued by was, was him, you know, in his press conference saying that he acknowledged that he didn't take the coaching the right way. um, And that it was never like, it's almost like, you know, when you get mad at somebody and you, you get mad that they're not up to their full potential, it's not that you're yeah. mad because you hate them. It's because you see it in them and you're trying to get that out of them. And I think that maybe Pettis didn't take it that way. And I think you said it the last time that we were on, Grant, like he's never had a situation where, um, you know, where people have talked down to him, coaches. And it's any, any way, right? Like he's Ever. never he's never gotten any negative feedback from coaches, right? right. So it's it's, again, like football is such a mental game. Like it really is, man. Like it's it's like you know, th- there's guys who aren't as skilled that find ways to get it done, and then there's these guys that are very skilled, but you know they just can't put it together up here when it comes to what it takes to be really successful at this level, um, for a continued pro- you know, a continued uh, time because we're we're still holding on to what we saw um at the end of two years ago, thinking that that's still there, um, and I think it is. It's just that you know he hasn't really done much else since then, and I- I'm just happy to hear that he's doing well. What we're waiting for is for him to grow up the way that Kendrick Bourne has grown up. I mean, we started off this call talking about how mature Kendrick Bourne is, how he says the right things, how he gives props to the vets. Kendrick Bourne has his mind in the right place. Pettis is still thinking about himself, his feelings, his relationship with the head coach. It's like his mentality is more of a younger player. He's not at a contract year yet. He either will get to the Kendrick Bourne mentality or he won't. And what's cool about Kendrick Bourne is he's had it since he got in the league.